Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. I'm about to go out, do some sourcing. Uh, there is one garage sale this morning. I was hoping there'd be a bit more because the weather's supposed to be quite nice this morning. Uh, right now it's in the 40s, but later it's supposed to get up to 78. I'll probably head over to the garage and do some work as well. But anyway, uh, just one sale this morning. Tomorrow though is a community. I have another uh, smoke alarm. I just put a battery in one. Now there's another one needing a battery, apparently. Um, that's annoying. I feel like I have to pay like thousands of dollars every year on batteries. It's like every month there's a smoke detector somewhere that needs a battery. Um, anyway, uh, where what was I saying? Yeah, there's a community sale tomorrow. And um, hopefully, um, last year at this community sale, I made... About, mm, I made about a thousand dollars in just selling the books I found there. That's where I found the value tale books, um, the uh, Bible set that I sold for one hundred fifty dollars, which I grossly underpriced because it sold within ten minutes. Um, really, no comps to compare it to. I probably should have priced that at like two fifty. Uh, like a, another children's Bible book set I sold for like sixty some bucks, paid five dollars for. So um, I am going to hopefully do th that well tomorrow. They'll probably be in this blog. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough content um, for this morning. So I'm just going to go hit this one garage sale. I apologize for that. I really, I really do. Um, I'm just going to hit one garage sale and then um, Goodwill and Salvation Army. So let's see if we can make some money this morning. Got my VA energy drink, Black Cherry. You know what it is. Might have a problem. Got a couple cans here, a couple cans there. I uh, need to probably clean my car. So this garage sale was a bust. It's one of those sales where there's only two tables and 99% of it is just Avon. And um, unfortunately, it's just really not my thing. Avon just doesn't really sell too well. But I got distracted by this uh, beer stein here because I recently sold a Harley Davidson one for 50 bucks, uh, over $50 actually on eBay. And I'm like, oh, but some of these steins are worth money. And uh, I thought this one, this one looked very similar to the Harley Davidson one I recently sold. So I decided to pick it up. And the guy told me, he seen me holding it. He's like, I got a bunch of Steins. Um, come back tomorrow. I'll have a bunch of them out. Ask him if he had any Harley. He said no. So uh, yeah, just, I didn't really want to buy this one, but I did. So I ended up picking up this Stein in that sale. I did not look it up before I bought it. Um... I just bought it because I recently sold a Harley Davidson Stein similar to this. Uh, got about 50 some dollars for it on eBay. So I figured, well, you know, I'll take a chance on this. I flipped it over and um, I seen 1990. Um, now, here's how bad my brain is. I did not notice Avon, or I probably wouldn't have bought it because I know Avon stuff is usually not valuable and over, over made. Um, I should somehow miss that right there. So I bought it. I looked it up though. It looks like I will make a little bit of money on it. Uh, definitely would probably wouldn't have bought it though if I looked it up beforehand. Um, one did sell for $35, but it had the box. And um, I, I don't know. I'll probably try to sell mine for just for like 20 bucks or something just to um, you know, move it and make a little bit of money. He said he had like 10 steins that weren't there and he'd bring them tomorrow if I wanted to come back and see more. I asked him if he had any Harley ones. He said no, but oh well, nothing great. I am in Goodwill. Take a look at these cool looking um, like opera glasses or um, I guess is opera binoculars technically. Uh, never seen anything like it. Thought they would be worth something. Some of them are those. You could see like the gold was chipping off. Wasn't like any real gold or anything like that. And uh, you maybe sell them for 15 bucks. So I didn't really want to mess with them. They were in kind of rough shape. Uh, but yeah, uh, just first time I think I've ever seen those. Here's a Bell & Howell um, High 8 tape. I don't think it's High 8. It's um, 8 millimeter. Um, no, it's Super 8 is what they call that one. Um, those just don't do too well. So um, left that. Looking in the toys, <laughs> you know what I'm looking for. Those Jurassic World figures. Kind of addicted to them at this point. Uh, I've been seeing so many of them uh, that I just kind of expect it at this point. Um, no sealed board games. I do spot some Tonka toys over here. Something I've never sold because every time I see them, they're in this kind of shape. They were in such rusted shape that even when I picked one up to 
research it. A big piece fell off. Uh, just not something I'm going to spend money on. Um, if there were something, let me know. Um, like after, after the big piece fell off when I picked it up, I kind of just left them. I didn't re come back and research them anymore. So I picked up this Electro brand 2 gigabyte digital MP3 player. Surprisingly, these things still sell. Still pretty well new as well. Um, so there was a used one on eBay that sold for about 15 shipped. Uh, so I, I figure I can at least get 20, 25. I'll probably price it at 25 and see if it sells. For whatever reason, people uh, still search for these. I guess they don't use their phone or uh, their iPods or anything like that. I feel like two gigabytes, though, what you're getting, like, <laughs> not very many songs. I guess you get a decent amount. So, um, yeah, I'll make a little bit of money on that. Nothing great. So, got out of Salvation Army, picked up this sealed sequence for kids game. I am going to double my money on it. Paid $5 for it and uh, sell it for, I think it was 18 something I'm um, double my money. It has, like, an 8,000 rank in toys, so it's going to be an instant flip. I've sold a lot of these before I got on clearance at Meyer, and they do sell very well, so... I figured, why not just double my money? It's going to be easy. Um, nickel and diming it today, that's for sure. But they told me something interesting in there. On Thursdays, this Salvation Army at least, you can buy a bag for $4.99 and you can go fill it up with houseware stuff. And it's all $4.99. And there's a larger bag you can buy for $9.99 and fill it up. They have a lot of Pyrex that come in here and they price it at uh, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So maybe i'll wait till thursdays and if there's good pyrex there i'll go ahead and fill up a bag and see what we can do but kind of interesting they're doing that so i decided to stop at this random spot here and walk um <laughs> i don't know where it leads to but uh i wanted to do some walking and i pass this every now and then i'm like you know what one day we're gonna park there and walk this is the day I'm gonna go get some exercise and then head over to the garage and get some work done just a random piece of a phone Hanging on a tree. That's weird. This is a pretty ugly path. Um, I think I'll come back when the trees have bloomed and there's leaves and it's a bit better looking. It's just so dreary through here. It's just a straight walk. Nothing too exciting to see. I'm in the garage. It looks like there is an avalanche of some stuff. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try and uh, I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff. At least try to do something with it. A lot of it is going to be shipped out soon. Uh, like a lot of the faucets, the price is starting to rebound a bit. Uh, so I'll get those shipped out. But yeah, I gotta make some room here. Here is a good example of the effects of retail arbitrage on Amazon. Uh, this was selling for about $60 on Amazon when I bought it. Paid like $9.46 for these, bought 17 of them. Um, should have it in the corner here. They're down to $23. I'd make $2 a piece if I was trying to sell them right now. People come in, they drive the price down. What happens when they drive the price down is it makes uh, a good deal happen. And um, the rank shoots up and Amazon reviews start coming in. It becomes a popular product. They sell out all of theirs at a low price. Uh, and it really matures the listing. And um, then the people who actually hold theirs, like me, they come in and they price theirs back at $60, $70, and they make some good money on it. That is the effect of retail arbitrage. You, In this day of age, I, you just cannot expect to buy clearance at these big box stores and just flip it um, the next day unless you get in there first um, bearded picker always says you gotta be first or last and I 100% agree with that um, that's where the money is and um, if you're in the middle you're just not doing as well so I'll hold these maybe up to a year who knows I'm definitely not gonna blow them out for two dollars profit a piece so it might not look that good still, but I did get a lot done and organized on the shelves and packed away in corners. Uh, this, All this stuff right here is stuff that I'm going to put in the next FBA shipment. And I got quite a bit more stuff I'm going to put in the FBA shipment. I'm just not going to be able to do the rest of it today. I got my poor kayak over here buried. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to do it for the, uh, the garage work today. Check, take a look at these um, lawnmower blades. I bought in the fall they really are going to pay off this spring these are selling for like $32 a piece pay like two dollars and something for them these are like 40 and you can see here like this one was selling for close to 40 I only paid 266 for it and there's a couple of them there so I got these really cheap at Lowe's and been holding them waiting for better prices that time is now so I'm gonna get those shipped out and uh, look at all these Got these at garage sales last year. They've just been stacked here. There's some good units here too. Um, 
I think there's a couple of recorders in there. Anyway, um, I'm going to get home and get something to eat because I'm starving, and then we'll just continue tomorrow with yard sales. It is the next day, and it's time for community garage sales. Um, unfortunately, the weather is terrible. We have severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, 50 mile per hour wind warnings. Uh, probably won't be too many sales, but um, I'm going to go anyway. I've had luck in rain before, and uh, we're going to roll the dice and just try to make something happen today. So the first stop is not so great. You got one little table, some plants, um, just not a very good sale. Um, but I did spot something on the table that um, you can make some money on. If anyone sees it, it's these space maker uh, radios and electronics. They go up under the cabinets. People still buy them. Now that's not a high-end model. Uh, there's a free crate that's pretty cool. I think that would be worth it if I, to flip locally maybe, but I didn't end up buying it. It would just take way too much room and probably not a whole lot of profit in it at all. But on to the next sale. So the rain is starting to clear up. Um, this sale, this guy had like some tractors, some... That's not even like a real Ford model. Um, a little Amigo cart there. Some larger stuff, but unfortunately this is one of the disappointments of today. There was a couple. Um, this guy, if you see on the table there, he had a few pellet guns and some other stuff. And this woman was buying pretty much everything of value. Uh, you kind of see there, she got all three of those um, BB guns for $15. Uh, and that um, camera lens there. Uh, I think a couple more things. Um, I just unfortunately I was just a little too late. So um, missed out on that stuff. Um, there was a modem there, a router. Uh, wasn't too good. Some board games that are eh, not really good. Uh, musical instrument. Don't know anything about those. Uh, there's a Blu-ray player. It was uh, 20 bucks at Toshiba. Had the remote, I just didn't want to mess with it. Just not a whole lot of profit. And I don't like to spend $20 on electronic at a garage sale because you never know if they function properly. Um, but yeah, just disappointment here. Here's a sale that had a bunch of media. I'm not really looking to buy any used CDs. Um, barely any new CDs at that. Um, I think they're priced a dollar a piece. It's just way too much to pay. Uh, you got more media. Zumba, I feel like I see Zumba for Wii at every yard sale. Uh, <laughs> it's just one of those games that you always see. No one can get rid of it. It seems like everyone has it. Uh, just some movies that I'm, I'm not going to try to buy or flip. I thought that was one of the um, Arabic Bibles that I bought last year, but that was just a Webster's Dictionary. Um, had a few other things here that were kind of interesting, like this over there in the uh, right corner there, there was a dog fence, um, electric dog fence like piece, but it just... Didn't have everything else with it. I did end up getting something here. Uh, the lady um, was not being too cooperative with pricing, but I didn't, didn't end up picking up something. Also keep in mind that this is not going to be all the sales I went to. I went to over 20 sales today. Uh, this is just a, a fraction of what I went to. Here is a church sale I stopped in. I was pretty excited, but then I seen a sign when I got in that it started two days prior. So anything good here was going to be gone, more than likely, and sure enough it was. There was a lot of Bibles and books here. I was looking for any good Bibles. That living uh, Bible there, I've actually sold that before. You don't get too much for it in mint condition. That one was really beat up, so they were 50 cents. There may have been a few dollars in them. i just I'm not going to spend the time and effort to make you know, 2 or $3 dollars on a Bible. Um, yeah, just... Uh, it's just unfortunate that um, there was no like high end. There could have been some high end ones a couple days ago, but they're long gone. Um, uh, Cause I've made so many, so much money off of uh, Bibles and um, religious type books, and you just always got to keep an eye out for them. And um, unfortunately, these Bible types just don't sell well. They're just they're nothing special. You really gotta look for the special rainbow print or large print or. Um, dictionary type Bibles so nothing here unfortunately lots of clothes but they've been picked through um, church sales are probably my favorite sales to go to and it, it just sucks when you got to be on the third day so I think it was this sale I uh, was walking up to it and somebody was walking out with one of the Magnavox um, DVD recorders in their hand um, not the combo unit it is a combo unit but it's an actual recorder 
Uh, I've sold those before for over $300. Looked really minty in his hand. So there's something else I missed out on. Um, it really sucks when you see people buying stuff that you'd want to buy. There's a uh, cry cut uh, holder sold for $20 new. So at $5 used, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, here's some board games, some shoes that just aren't worth it. Really, garage sales were not that good to me today. Again, I think it was the weather. But, you know, I did find some stuff, which I'll make sure to show you guys at the end. And also remember, I do these voiceovers because usually they're playing music and the garage sales are loud. And I just don't want to sit there and just have random footage um, without any voices or anything. But here in a couple weeks, there's going to be three community sales going on. Hopefully the weather's nice. Hopefully I can find some good scores. Because so far this year, while I've made a few hundred dollars, well, I haven't made it yet because I haven't sold the stuff, right? But you know what I mean. I found enough to make a couple hundred dollars. It's still um, not great compared to some of my previous years. Back at the garage. There's my garage sale haul. Uh, let me get it out, show you what I got. Um, I'll show you the smaller stuff when I get back to the house. So there it is. It's a vanity. This is actually for personal use. Uh, they had a hundred bucks on it. I got it for ninety. Um, as you know, I bought the tile to redo my bathroom and kitchen. So I figured I might as well upgrade a new vanity. I got a nice new faucet too to go there uh, that I sourced from Lowe's. So all this clearance stuff and good deals I'm getting is really going to make my house a lot nicer. I did. Looks like I did a little bit of damage um, moving it. It's actually brand new. See, it's never been used. Um, they said they bought it, it didn't fit, it sat in the bedroom, and finally wanted to sell it. Comes with the mirror, too. Um, I did not realize he had $25 on the mirror, um, so he threw that in, in the backsplash. So I got all that for 90. Uh, this, I think he said it was about 500 and some dollars new, so definitely happy to pick that up. And the other big thing is just some of these uh, media shells. I got both these $2.50 a piece, total of $5. Um, kind of buy them when they're cheap because I can uh, use them to put my uh, store my video games on. So um, I like the black, so happy to get that cheap. And I got a few other things for reselling, which I'll show you here in a minute. Here it is. This is the garage sale haul. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but in the end, I should make $150, $160 selling all this stuff so you know it's not too bad it's nothing like last year you know bringing in a thousand dollar haul um in one weekend but um you can't have that every time anyway um let's just start over here i got this orvis vest uh this is still brand new i paid ten dollars for it she came down five dollars on it for me and um i did quick comp looking and it looked like this vest was selling thirty thirty five dollars um, some of them were selling for 40 I don't know if they're the same brand, but I figure this will move. It looks like they were selling well. Worst case scenario, you know, I do some fishing, I'll wear it. Um, <laughs> so I picked that up, and uh, here I got some, just some uh, shoe stuff, 50 cents and a quarter, and um, I figure I'll need this kind of stuff, and it's pretty expensive if you buy it. I mean, it's not really expensive, but it's, it's definitely more than a quarter and 50 cents. Still very full. It's like it's hardly ever used, maybe used once. So pick that up for the business. Uh, I feel like every year I pick up one of these at a yard sale. This is like the third or fourth one I've got. These are um, converter sets for traveling for different countries, different outlets, and uh, I typically sell these for about $45 on Amazon. I looked again, the, I should be able to sell this for $45. I'll make about $25 in the end. And I did get that for $4. Um, and I kind of regret buying this. Um, it was one of those yard sales you come up on and it's an old woman that kind of values everything a bit too much. It was $6. Um, really no negotiating um the problem was you know I, I said well i don't want to buy it you know if it doesn't work and um I mean, there's no staples in it and to test it and all that so i set it back down she came over and grabbed it opened it up she didn't even know what it was um but she's like i don't even know what that is and then opened it up and uh there were staples in it so she plugged it in stuck a piece of paper under it and it automatically staples when it senses paper 
And I'm like, well, you know, I guess I'll go ahead and buy it since she went through all that. And it does sell uh, 25 30 bucks. it looks like. Um, more like 20 bucks plus shipping is what I'm typically seeing. So I'll make some money on it. It seems to sell pretty well. Um, but I didn't want to pay $6 for it. <laughs> I feel like I, anywhere else I would have got that for 2 or 3 bucks. Um, and then here I got one of these Space Maker radios. These things still sell okay. They're, they're not great. Had all the hardware with it. It was two bucks. So um, I don't know. Um, I think it was like 20, 20, 25 dollars I'll get for this. I figure for two bucks, these things are easy to test and deal with. Um, I'll make about 10, 15 dollars in the end, hopefully. It's about my minimum for what I make. Then uh, over here, uh, the score of the day, what made the day, I suppose is the Panasonic VHS Play Pack. Uh, these, this was free. Um, so I got this in a, uh, well, it was in a bunch with a bunch of VHS. And they were trying to sell like all the VHS for like five bucks. And I said, how much just for this one? And she's like, you can just have it. And I'm like, okay. So um, I've sold these before on Amazon. Um, get about $75 right now. I think the other one I sold for about 85 new. They're like 144 uh, so keep an eye out for these random things. They, they are worth money. Um, I'm assuming it works. Uh, usually they work okay. And, um, yeah, to get that for free is awesome. And I know a lot of people, they're going to say, hey, like, there's no proof you got that for free. Um, yeah, there's always someone like, why, why would I lie? What do I have to gain? Uh, it's not the best thing I found in a free box. Uh, I think it was last year I found a Nintendo 64 in a free box so uh, that's the best thing I ever found for free and then over here uh, these this is kind of kind of random um, Catalina's mom um, texted her with a picture that she was at Goodwill and seen these Nikes and was wanting to know if I was I would be interested in them and I was driving I took a quick glance at the photo and they were five bucks at Goodwill which is extremely low for a, a Nike shoe at Goodwill usually they want uh, upwards to thirty forty dollars. It doesn't really matter the condition if it says Nike. They just price it high. Um, I like the red and black. They look unique. I said yeah for five bucks pick them up. I don't think you know it'll be bad. So um, I looked them up and uh, it looks like they they do sell very well. There's different Hyper Dunk kinds, but this one seems to be about forty dollars thirty five forty dollars plus shipping. Uh, they're in really good shape, so I think definitely going to make some money on those. So yeah, I want to thank Catalina's mom for finding these. <laughs> Pretty awesome. That's going to do it for the video, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can see all this random junk I find and flip on eBay and Amazon. And uh, thank you for watching. This has been Wick. Till next time.